Bonjour Year 8. So today you're going to be looking again at technology and your use of it. Okay, before you get started, make sure you've got all the equipment you need for today's lesson. This is the exercise book that the school gave you, a pen and a ruler, your knowledge organiser for module 6, which has a link on class charts, and also wordreference.com, which has a web link on class charts to look up any vocabulary that you're not sure about. Pause to get that ready now. Do email me if you've got any questions about the learning activities in today's lesson. And here's my email address. So what I'm looking for is to see that you're maintaining neat and accurate notes. And as well as that, that you're complete, completing tasks, showing your own use of the language that you have been learning alongside Mrs. Turner. So when you see this uh, photo icon, take a photo of the task ready to submit the work to class charts once you've finished. Quand est la date jeudi 18 juin? Et le titre, la montre intelligente, est aussi cher que le téléphone portable, which means the smartwatch is as expensive as the mobile phone. So and make sure you underline your date and title. You can write it in English if you wish to. So rewind and look at the title I just gave you in English. Also write down your objective, which is to use comparatives in French, comparing two things or more in French. Pause to do that now and press play when you're ready to go to your Do Now activity. And here is your Do Now task. What I want you to do is to match the French adjectives with the English ones that are lettered, but you only need to write down the number of the French adjective and the letter of the English one. You've got 10 minutes to do this. Pause to do this now. And here are the answers. Un, j'ai, utile, and useful. De, i, pratique and practical. Trois, b, amusant and fun. Quatre, f, facile à utiliser and easy to use. Cinq, h, difficile à utiliser and difficult to use. Seis, c, élégant and smart or chic or stylish. Set e, cher and expensive. Huit a, démodé and out of fashion or old fashioned. And neuf d, compliqué and complicated. Okay, give yourself a mark out of nine now. Really well done. I'm going to pass you to Mrs. Turner to teach the rest of the lesson. Please remember to upload your work to class charts at the end of the lesson. Merci, au revoir. Activité 1. I'm going to explain to you how to use the comparative in French. Please put your pens down, listen and follow the notes on screen. So, comparatives. There are three main ways to compare things. We can say something is more than, less than, or just as, 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 if things are similar. For example, l'enceinte connectée est plus facile à utiliser que l'organiseur électronique. The smart speaker is easier to use than the electronic organizer. So you can see from my underlining that in French, we express the ER of easier as plus. So we're saying literally, it is more easy than. It's more easy, it's easier than the electronic organizer. So plus is more, 
que than. To say something is less than, moins que. Par exemple, le baladeur MP3 est moins cher que le portable. It is less expensive, moins cher que than the mobile phone. If something is less expensive, in English we can also say it's cheaper than the mobile phone. It has the same meaning. Thirdly, as as, aussi que. Par exemple, les écouteurs sans fil sont aussi utiles que la montre intelligente. The wireless headphones are as useful, aussi utile que as the smartwatch. There are a few exceptions. First of all, the adjective bon meaning good. We don't say something is more good or gooder. We say better. And in French, the word is meilleur. We don't say something is badder or more bad. We use the word pire, worse. Remember, you do need to make the adjective agree with the noun that it's describing, which is usually the first one in the comparison. So let's see how that looks in our sentences now. L'enceinte connectée, we can see that this is a feminine noun, and that means our adjective should be in the feminine form, which it is. In the second example, le baladeur, well that's masculine, therefore our adjective must be in the masculine form. Third example, les écouteurs, that's plural, masculine plural by the way, and our adjective there, you can see, has been put in the plural form. It doesn't matter that what comes after the comparison is a feminine, a feminine noun. We're going to make our adjective agree with the first thing mentioned. Now I would like you to copy this grammar note carefully into your book. Pause the video now. Activité 2. Complete the sentences to practice making comparatives in French. Translate each sentence then into English. I'll do one example for you. La caméscope, the video camera, est something démodé, something le baladeur MP3. And I'm supposed to insert the French phrase for more than. So I look at my grammar notes. I read them, I find out that more than is plus and que. And the adjective should go in between. I then translate that to English and move on to number two. Over to you, you have 15 minutes. Pause the video now. Right, here come the answers. Remember that you're going to be taking a photograph of these sentences um, at the end of this correction. Make sure that any corrections or changes that you make are done clearly and neatly with a different coloured pen. Off we go. Un. Le caméscope est plus démodé que le baladeur MP3. The video camera is more old-fashioned than the MP3 player. 2. Le téléphone portable est plus utile que l'organiseur électronique. The mobile phone is more useful than the electronic personal organizer. 3. L'appareil photo numérique est plus compliqué que le caméscope. The digital camera is more complicated than the video camera. 4. 
le clavier électronique est moins cher que la manette Nintendo Switch. The electric keyboard is less expensive or cheaper than the Nintendo Switch controller. 5. L'enceinte connectée est moins pratique que la montre intelligente. The smart speaker is less practical than the smartwatch. 6. Les écouteurs sans fil sont moins faciles à utiliser que le baladeur MP3. The wireless headphones are less easy to use or trickier to use than the MP3 player. 7. Le téléphone portable est mieux que l'organiseur électronique. The mobile phone is better than the electronic personal organizer. 8. Le baladeur MP3 est pire que l'enceinte connectée. The MP3 player is worse than the smart speaker. 9. La montre intelligente est aussi chère que le téléphone portable. The smartwatch is as expensive as the mobile phone. I would just like to draw your attention now to some of the adjectives that you would have used. For example, Les écouteurs sans fil. You should be adding an S here onto facile because les écouteurs sans fil, that's a plural noun. In number nine, cher must be in the feminine form because montre is a feminine noun. Check your work carefully, do corrections neatly and clearly before taking a photo of this task to send to me at the end of the lesson. Activité 3. Familiarise yourself with the grid and then complete the activities. So I'll run through it with you. Our first column is full of nouns, the nouns that we've been, with the vocabulary that we've been focusing on, all the different types of gadgets. Here on this grid, I haven't included all of them. I've included the main ones that you would talk about nowadays, because remember, all the ones you've learnt, some of them are a bit dated. Second column, verbs. You have a for the singular nouns, is, and sans for the plural nouns, they are. You then have your comparative structure, plus que, Moins que, aussi que, with an adjective in the middle. And at the end, you need a noun again to show which item you are comparing it with. Right, let's begin the tasks. Dictation. Listen to sentences one to three and write them down in French. Use the grid to help you with accuracy. Un. Le téléphone portable est plus utile que la montre intelligente. Again, le téléphone portable est plus utile que la montre intelligente. Deux, l'appareil photo numérique est aussi facile à utiliser que l'enceinte connectée. Again, 
L'appareil photo numérique est aussi facile à utiliser que l'enceinte connectée. Les écouteurs sans fil sont moins chers que la montre intelligente. Les écouteurs sans fil sont moins chers que la montre intelligente. Well done, Year 8. Just check before we go through the answers that you have read across the grid, making sure that your adjectives do agree with the first noun you have mentioned. Let's check your work. Un, le téléphone portable est plus utile que la montre intelligente. 2. L'appareil photo numérique est aussi facile à utiliser que l'enceinte connectée. 3. Les écouteurs sans fil sont moins chers que la montre intelligente. 3. Bon travail, Year 8. Now I think you're ready to move on to some translation. Number from 1 to 5 in your margin. Listen to the sentences that I say aloud and translate them into French in your book. Of course, you're going to be using your grid as much as you need to to get your work as accurate as possible. Let's begin. 1. The mobile phone is less complicated than The smart watch. Again, the mobile phone is less complicated than the smart watch. Two. The Nintendo Switch controller is more expensive than the smart speaker. Again, the Nintendo Switch controller is more expensive than the smart speaker. Trois. The wireless headphones are as easy to use as a smart speaker. Quatre. The digital camera is more difficult to use than the mobile phone. Again, the digital camera is more difficult to use than the mobile phone. Thank. The smart watch is as stylish as the wireless headphones.
the smart watch is as stylish as the wireless headphones. Okay, so now what I would like you to do is compare your translation with mine. Pay attention to detail, making sure that you have accents and adjective agreements in place and no missing words. If you need to, you can pause after each sentence to mark and correct your work. Un. Le téléphone portable est moins compliqué que la montre intelligente. 2. La manette Nintendo Switch est plus chère que l'enceinte connectée. Notice here that the adjective chère is in the feminine form because of the noun la manette. 3. Les écouteurs sans fil sont aussi faciles à utiliser que l'enceinte connectée. Les écouteurs sans fil are plural, so they are, there's your verb, ils sont. And our adjective needs to also go into the plural form to reflect the fact that the headphones are plural. 4. L'appareil photo numérique est plus difficile à utiliser que le téléphone portable. 5. La montre intelligente est aussi élégante que les écouteurs sans fil. In number 5, you would have needed to choose a feminine adjective, élégante, to reflect the fact that la montre intelligente is a feminine noun. Check your work carefully, making sure your corrections are in a different colored pen. No scribbling out. Take a photo of your work, ready to send me later. Activité 5. To finish off, I'd like you to write three sentences in French comparing gadgets that you own or would like to own. Use a variety of complex structures. So you can use plus que, moins que, aussi que, or one of the irregular ones, meilleur and pire. As an example, le téléphone portable est plus utile et pratique que la montre intelligente. The mobile phone is more useful and practical than the start smartwatch. So I've written my sentence in French, comparing two items, and then I've translated it to English to show that I know what it means and I'm aware of the sentence structure. Over to you. Three sentences, please. And I would like you to take a photograph of your work uh, once you have finished. Off you go. Bon travail. Great work, Year 8. Please email me if you have any questions at all about the activities in today's lesson and here's my email address. Please also remember you must submit a copy of your work onto class charts to get a very well-deserved achievement point. Well done again. Merci, au revoir.